welcome to my space. Watch Natalie spelled N-A-T-A-L-E-E. -E. I'm here to do your free reading for the day. And the download is to be a cat. It's a download. The download is to be a cat. And they also channel the two of wands blueprint. That's the download and tuning into these, that download came through, I think yesterday or maybe even the day before. And then in the psychic tuning just right now, expanding on be a cat, they're saying it's about, they're saying dispassionate enjoyment. So dispassionate enjoyment. It's very, you guys know cats. They're sort of dispassionate enjoyment you know exactly what's going to make you happier what's making you happy right now you you actually are happy on the inside you have this inner contentment this inner peace if you are feeling any kind of anxiety or stress fear worries that's all like it's like a crust it's on the outside it's very it's very exterior. It's very much, it could even be because you're worried about a certain situation or something, how something's going to resolve itself, you know, but it's something very exterior. It's something very, I would say that it's something happening in the real world. Okay, obviously, but inside, internally in yourself, if you connect with that, you'll find that you're actually very self-satisfied. Be a cat, dispassionate enjoyment. Two of Wands blueprint. Hmm. That's interesting. This is the first energy out, so it's the strongest energy. It's like the birth energy of the rest of this reading. So whatever comes after this, we know that you are either pretty self-satisfied, pretty content, pretty happy, or you're going to be mo you're moving into this energy and this is like it's almost like looking at the flames like you're just almost there it's like when the magnet is getting into the perimeter of the other magnet you can start to feel that that pull and then zing they click so this could be that energy that you can feel on its way that you can feel it coming in soon soonly or this is where you are now. Hold on. I heard something. And some of you are already in that energy of dispassionate enjoyment. Some of they're telling me some of you are already in that energy where you're you're sort of channeling the energy of the cat. And it's like, well, things are going well, you are happy, but you're not letting it get you super happy, like the opposite extreme. You're, you're sort of composing yourself. For some of you, this is even necessary. It's necessary to not look too happy, to not be expressly happy where you're, it's, it, there's, it, there's something interesting about this. It's almost like, if something really good's happening to you, it's like you're not going to blast it on the internet. You're not going to put it all on social media quite yet, but you're happy about it. But you're not quite... Hmm. But there's a reason for this. I mean, I don't... I'm not uncomfortable with this. This is actually... It's a good thing. It's either necessary for some of you or secrecy, keeping something positive, a secret is necessary. Oh man, yes it is. We have an interesting pair. We have the Queen of Cups, the King of Pentacles, and then in the very middle we have the Eight of Pentacles. This doesn't even need to be that you are a master at one particular thing. This could be that you have many talents. This Eight of Pentacles. It could be that you have many different talents, many different skills. This could be combining many different skills of yours or different talents or different things that you can do or just different parts of your life, areas of your life as well. And here we have this sort of, the way they're showing it to me, this 
project, this work, this, this multi, I do get this multi-layered, multi-complex. Now for me, speaking to you guys, the easiest metaphor that I can give you is um, making a film, how there's all these different departments. It's kind of like that. So you could be, this could even be a multinational corporation where there are so many different departments and so many different levels and hierarchies and different but I'm getting that. I'm getting that there are just very different skill sets of, of, of different artisans or different technicians, different kinds of very skilled and able workers. There's something about that that is actually bringing these two together, this king and queen here. I'm not getting that either of these, it's, it would be hard to say right now which one of these would be you. I would go with the queen of cups because it connects with this high priestess energy. And it is bringing you, that's why you're happy. It's, it's, you're happy because you know, you know, this is around the bend. You can feel that, like, remember when we channeled, this reminds me of another channeling. It reminds me of, um, I remember what it felt like. That's how I, that's how I remember our readings is, is how I, how, what I was going through. I don't know. I don't remember the title or, but I remember that I felt this pool right here, like right over there, this pool, like, yeah, just like that, like a, just like a pool, you know, kind of connected to me. And, oh my God, is that on my shirt? What is that? <gasps> I'm so sorry, you guys. This is a clean shirt, right? Yeah, what is that? I'm so sorry. Ugh, so distracting. Sorry. I felt this pool, and I felt that I had other receptors, and they were not being pulled. And I, and I knew instantly that it was a spider web. That some, it, it feels exactly as if I'm in a web, and I'm touching every part of this web, and then I can feel the, the tug that something got caught in my web and I'm like, okay, I'm going to go check this out. I'm getting that vibe with this. And this feels like you are excited that you are happy keeping it on the low, low, because you can feel like what I said about the magnets. You can feel that not on you, not in your life, not direct yet, but it's like on its way on the perimeters of your boundaries. You can feel, you can feel something coming. Your little spidey senses are going and what the pool is, is this work opportunity. It's this job. It is this participation. It is this, it's something where you are lending your, you are lending your skill into a bigger matrix of skills here. That's what that is. Okay. So there are other people on this team. There's other individuals involved and everyone has sort of their specialty and you have your specialty and you're being brought in to this and it's bringing you closer to someone it's bringing bringing you close to a king of pentacles this is someone who's already very established this is someone who has started their own business who took over a business runs a corporation runs runs the show they own the building they own the property they everything is in their name and they're very solid, secure. They're very practical people. Let's get the next energy. What do we need to know about these two? Or ooh, what do we need to know about these two or this project? It does want to come out, doesn't it? What is it? Oh, it's the chariot. <gasps> and it is the chariot. Okay, so now that we have this major arcana on the table, this is going to be moving fast. This is something that could take off quicker than you even expect it. Now, I know that you know it's going to make you happy with this Nine of Cups and the High Priestess, you know, very hidden knowledge. This is way more public. This is way more public. This is putting you out in front or this project or you and this King of Pentacles, something. This It could even be all of this. It's like full force being trotted out for the for the masses or for the public or something. But either way, I feel like even if this isn't ready to go yet, because it's sort of like you would be coming into this, it'll be successful. It'll work. It's, it's a really great, perfect, competitive asset. 
it's how it wants to come out. It's wanting to come out as a competitive, as a, how do I say this? It's a good decision. It's actually a very sound, good business decision on behalf of this King of Pentacles. They're looking at this situation and they're actually making a very good decision to pick you for your skill set because it adds some some wonderful winning element to this this thing. So you could be put do I see power? You know with the chariot maybe. Maybe. Whatever it is, you are very happy about it. Very happy about it indeed. It could come sooner than you think or than you than you might expect. The next message. Let's so see happiness. Hold on. What else can you tell us about these energies? About this connection between these two? What else can you give us? Oh, okay. Wow. Four energies, four cards. We have the Seven of Staves, we have the Sun, we have the Two of Swords, and we have the Ace of Cups. The Seven of Staves. This is, this is you, this could be even like a recruiter. I feel like it's the boss. I feel like it's the boss. It could be someone looking for talent or looking for skill looking for someone on behalf of the boss however or they could be the same person actually god i'm so sorry now i'm wondering what this is i don't know what it is it's bothering me okay sorry so this seven of staves sorry the seven of staves it's you two coming together to actually talk about this There's still the negotiation coming ahead. That's what this is. This is the negotiation. I want to clarify the chariot. I just do. I just do. I feel like that's the thing. That's the, the it's the job, it's the opportunity, it's the collaboration, the partnership the project, the business, the company, the corporation. It's like the thing itself. For some of you, if you're artistic, this is you getting financial backing for your artistic project. You're the more emotional, sensitive, artistic, creative one with these cups and the high priestess. The other would be looking at you for your skill and your talent, and they have the purse strings, the money, if that applies for you. Okay, let's take a look. <laughs> Nine of Staves as well. Let's take a look at the chariot. Please tell us more about this chariot, please. Oh, okay. I got it. It's in my lap. I'm just taking the top card. It is the Page of Staves. Page of Staves, to clarify the chariot. Yeah, this is a lot of enthusiasm. This is, oh shoot. They're telling me to take it all. There were three more cards. I can't escape them. I'm just kidding. So the other three cards, we have the Six of Staves, that Leo energy. We have the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and Earthy energy. And then we have Nine of Cups again which is bringing us back to the first energies with the High Priestess and the Nine of Cups, my dear. So what that's telling us is that you know about all of this already. You already know. You already see it coming down the pipeline. I think it's, that's what it is, pipeline. So you already know that this is on its way. It could, like I'm saying, it could be faster than you expect, even during... If you're watching this in real time, even during this Mercury retrograde period, Mercury retrograding will affect all of us differently. And if you are one of the 20% of people born during a Mercury retrograde, you're going to 
love this Mercury retrograde period because it's energy that you are used to. You just, you were born in that energy. So it's like, it's part of you. It's part of who you are. It's part of who you are, like at the same time that came out weird. It, but it is part of who you are. It, it's it's part of your formation, your energy signature. Thank you. It's part of your energy signature. So while everyone else is like, I need to back up my hard drive, you are going to be coming back around to other opportunities. Things could be coming back to you that you thought were kind of lost opportunities or bad ideas, the wrong ideas, the wrong partnerships. You could have a beneficial Mercury retrograde period ahead. And for those of you who are watching in the future, this will still happen likely quicker than you anticipate. Interesting. I'm getting this feeling that you are impatient. I'm getting this feeling that you are sort of, they're showing me scribbling on the walls. That's weird. <laughs> That's why. Thank you. They're bringing me back. I wrote it down. Be a cat, two of wands, blueprint. That's what they're saying. So you are, you, you do know that there's great things ahead for you. You do know that this, you, that you already know all of this. I'm just here to tell you to be like a cat and almost dissociate from this sort of excitement because I feel like you're just, you could be wanting this to move faster than it, than it is actually. Now that I'm getting my psychic clues, you could be the one that's like, I'm ready to go. Let's do this. I'm here. I, I'll show up. What's the thing? What are we doing? What's going You know, you might be the mover and the shaker with this page of wands. That's definitely you. This page of wands energy is so enthusiastic, so ready to win. You're ready to move forward, to be happy, to get things on the right track. That's what it is. And they're saying to be a cat. That's funny. So clarify. Let's keep going here. So the page of wands, the six of wands, the queen of pentacles, and the nine of cups. So you, you do know that this is going to be something that's going to put you in a position to match the person that you are partnering up with because we do have now counterparts and they are the material counterparts, the king and queen of pentacles. So this is going to put you in this position of materially matching this person and that's really kind of what I feel because he, here's why. You're showing up as a queen already. Your inner feminine feminine is showing up as the queen of cups. Look at how she's sitting there just protecting that chalice, not even batting an eyelash. Totally, it's like she knows everything too. She knows everything. The high priestess knows everything. Okay, that's you. You're showing up as intuitive to the max. Your intuition is probably really, really sharp right now. It's probably really just giving you all these insights and synchronicities that are just telling you great things are right around the corner. Great things are right around the corner. You're getting confirmations. You're having dreams about it. You are feeling it in your day as you move through your day. You're having your own synchronistic events happening to you, your own deja vus. Everything is leading you to tell you this is it. This is the dream business partner. Everything is so copacetic and comfortable between us. And this is going to go and they do need my perfect skill or, you know, it's like, you know, all of that already. Okay. You, and I'm here to confirm all of that for you. Absolutely. Absolutely. There's victory. There's, there's happiness and fulfillment. So as you come into this, you approach this already knowing that already having, and this is a joke I, I make sometimes is that I, I wish I would have either been born psychic and patient or born impatient, but not psychic because being impatient and psychic at the same time, it's kind of like this. So I totally feel you. I relate to you. Absolutely. You know that these are great things, but it's like you have to allow divine timing to do its thing. You have to allow organic timing to be truly organic and not push or rush. And I'm not getting that you are. I'm not getting that you are pushing or rushing. What's interesting about this is that you know that this is coming for you and you're not talking about, you really are keeping it to yourself. And the thing is, is that you know that this is something that's going to make you look really great. And so it's like you're not blowing it. You're not shooting your shot prematurely. 
you're you're really i mean this is the strongest energy right like you really are making the right decisions and doing the right things at the right time because you know that it's divine timing you know that this has its own little life with it you know it's it's even they're telling me like your career your career has its own if you think of your career Whatever this is, this has to do with, if this is your own business, if this is your corporation or a corporation that you are a part of that makes you feel like they're like your family, you know, whatever this is for you, it's like that has its own life. It has its own birth chart, its own beginning, middle and death. And it has its, it's, it's its own thing. Just like when two people meet, you know, in a love relationship, it's a timing issue and not like that's always a timing issue or anything like that, but you know, you could be in a different place in your life and this person can be coming out of a different energy completely and you're coming out of a different energy and that's what the people really mean when they say the timing is off or the timing was right or the timing wasn't right. It's the energies that you guys are going through at that moment, spiraling moments here. So it's like you know all of that. You know all of that already and you are just really excited. And they're telling me to tell you to be like a cat, to be like, it's okay. It's all right, I can do without it. Mm. Now, not quite so, you know, arrogant like a cat, but that general sort of, ah, life is good. I can just, you know, enjoy the sun. And then when the human comes back with the treats, I'll have treats. But right now I have the sun, so I'm going to enjoy the sun. And then maybe I'll go, you know, catch some, you know, whatever it is. But the animal will accept everything instantly. The animal just accepts the reality that they're in. They keep it moving. They move forward. They don't harp on the past. They don't have as much anxiety about the future sometime. Well, you know the point that I'm trying to get across. Okay. Let's move on and clarify this over here. The Seven of Staves, the Sun, the Two of Swords, and the Ace of Chalices. Because I feel like there's a restriction being broken here. I feel like, and it could have to do with, okay, so you're coming to this whole thing with that kind of a power, with the emotional power, with the... And I don't mean the emotional power like you can just spaz out. We're not talking about that. We're talking about the emotional power. We're talking about your soul. I feel like you are bringing your soul to this, whatever this is. This is very likely something that you can do, a talent or skill that you have that you just love to do. Like you, your heart is in it. You know what I'm saying? It's like if you love knitting, if you love crochet, if you love painting, if you love doing math if you you know whatever that is it doesn't have to be artistic but whatever that is you love doing it and you do it so well in your heart your passion is in it and that is how you're coming to this this very intuition led very heart heart leading so it could have been part of what you initially talked to them about some of the earlier conversations because it could be, you know, speaking about your passion, what stirs your heart and what you enjoy doing that got this person's attention. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and take a look at these guys down here. I'm going to do this individually. I'm going to start with the seven of staves. I just want to point out they're showing me be a cat again. And I just want to point out that this high priestess with the nine of cups, this Firstly, is telling me it's what you know. Okay, now I, I just, I'm getting this sort of like that ice cold water of like fear and fear of rejection. And, you know, this could be something that you also believe about a situation that you believe this, this, this is your faith. This is what you are believing will come to pass. Okay. So for some of you, do you see where the hiccup is where there's either a validated concern or a validated perspective, opinion that maybe I'm not being realistic, I'm believing in this too much. And then there's the other side of that where it's an 
unrealistic fear where there's nothing wrong happening and there's you have every reason to believe and that this is like that true knowing okay so let's go ahead and start with the eight seven the seven of staves please seven of staves Ooh, okay what was that we have the four of pentacles wow wow the four of pentacles and give me a second here. Sorry. So we have the Four of Pentacles that came out to clarify the Seven of Staves. And then we also have two cards that came out that were face down with the Four of Pentacles. However, I turned them over and they are yours. So oh my God, I just, they just, I don't even know how to explain what just happened right now. Okay, hold on. I'm going to go grab them. I will be right back. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. So those two cards. And you know, when cards act like that, when they get spicy, feisty like that, the emotional content, the emotional charge of that moment reveals itself. And so we have the tower with the hermit. Okay, with this four of pentacles to clarify the negotiating card, the seven of staves. So this is a very explicit warning to you, my dear, during negotiations, during negotiations, you want to make sure, especially if you're watching this in real time and there's this Mercury retrograde happening, be very, they're showing me cats. I'm, I'm trying to say be gracious. They're showing me cats. So be like a cat. That's really what they're giving me. And what, what they're giving me about this warning is that you just don't want to blow your, not blow your top, not like you're going to get angry. But here's the thing. If you have not done the appropriate hermit work that you've been needing to do up until this point in the game, in the game of life, if you have not done what you have been trying to prepare yourself to do unconsciously or higher self, doing the hermit work, you're not going to see your own shadow. You're not going to see your own worst enemy come out and sabotage this. You're not going to see it. You're not going to feel it. You're not going to know it. It will be so alien to you. The cognitive dissonance will be so great that you're not even going to see yourself messing something up. You're not even going to see it. It'll be totally hidden within the recesses of your subconscious. So that's the warning here is to make sure that you've been taking the opportunities to grow and evolve up until now in regards to confronting the parts of yourself that are very wounded, that are very insecure, that are very fearful, that are very angry, that are very greedy, that are, you know, all of that boils down to something far more important. All of that boils down to that wound, that original wound. So until that does get worked through and resolved, all of us are like this, by the way. This isn't just me, it isn't just you or the person that you may be channeling, that this could be you, it could be someone you're close to, okay? This is all of us, that when all of us don't confront this, we will all act and behave in those antagonistic ways. We are going to express that energy. It's, it has to come out, that wounded energy that is transformed and transmuted into greed, um, anger, you know, real anger, really these predominant archetypes or ego, you know, it, it comes out in those fashions and those ways and those areas in any area of life, essentially. Okay. So the warning here is if you're too greedy, if you, if you're trying, if you're, if you're not opening up, if you're not opening up to other possibilities and creative things and structures here, if you stay closed off and if you stay holding on to your own opinion, holding on to your own perspective, if you stay holding on to these inner wounds and these, the shadow parts of yourself, the parts of yourself that you need to heal and let go of so that you are actually who you are. Remember, we, we talked about this. You are not anger incarnate. You are not depression incarnate. You're temporarily experiencing this unpleasant emotion and then you're going to let it go. It's going to move on. And you're gonna, you're, you're you, you're who you are. Okay. So this is that, this is, you know, opening up. And for some of you, this is the opportunity. This is the test. 
to put the hermit work to the test, to make sure that you can apply what you've learned in this hermit work in real life. So if you have been overcoming recently feelings of greed, insecurity, unworthiness, arrogance, ego, okay, because they're totally this, they're totally connected, those energies. Um, this is coming up to either teach you about this or put that healing to the test, put that healing on its feet. It really feels more like the latter, that healing gets on its feet with this. Okay, but for some of you, if this opportunity comes and goes, treat this as a lesson. Because this, if, if this comes and goes, if this person rejects you in the very end, if you guys decide it doesn't work out, whatever, if they say, oh, I can't afford you because you're asking for so much, for too much, this is going to send you into the hermit work that you have to do to overcome this so that the next time this rolls around that you will heed this advice and heed these warnings. Um, but you'll be channeling, hopefully you'll be channeling this naturally and that in the negotiations when you put down what you need in this relationship and what you can give and you accept what you're hearing, vice versa, that you don't clench up, that you don't just hold on to your own perspective, that you are open and flexible. Because the element of self-sabotage is so there. Okay. Let's move on to the sun. Okay. Because it's like you do know that all of this is available on the line. It's there. Okay. I just want to give you some reassurance because we've all had opportunities or, you know, relationships and, you know, really great things that we just, you know, so just don't. The last thing I want you to do is be hard on yourself, okay? Let's clarify the sun. Oh, it's like he's taking a... Uh, the two, I called it. Psychic slip. Called it. Woohoo! Two of wands. There it is. Oh, what I was saying, it's like he's taking this big, deep breath. It's like he's just... Uh, and he just gets to exhale and like move forward with their life this little life right there you know it's like he's just breathing for the first time not for the why did i say that that was interesting it's like a sigh of relief it's just like oh it's all over it's all done oh my god i can relax okay and with the clarifier as the two of staves and i'll even show it to you because i wrote it down i'll show it to you Try to cover all the other craziness. I don't even know if I can. It's like this piece of paper. Let me see. Okay. If you can see it there, I wrote it down. Be a cat, two of wands, blueprint. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay. So I called it out. That's what they showed me and told me. So here we go. Now the psychic, I totally called it out. Now the psychic downloads and tunings are being totally activated because the card has come out and shown itself. So with the two of wands and the sun, okay, we have that energy that we channeled, the be a cat blueprint, two of wands. This is about the partnership. And look at you here. This is your partnership. This is the one you should be focusing on right now, or this is the one that you are focusing on right now. Okay. So you want to, what did I say? What did they, what would they, what were they saying about be like a cat? Dispassionate enjoyment. Look at how happy they are. <sighs> that big, deep breath, the dispassionate enjoyment. So be happy. This is a happy thing for those of you who are moving through this energy with success this time around. Congratulations for you. This is beautiful, truly beautiful energy. And the reminder here is to be a cat. They keep saying that. That must be some confirmation for someone very important about this. Because they're saying be like a cat. Be a cat with this enjoyment. So, you know, don't let this take you to, you know, the actual sun where you get your face burned away and everything just burns. You know, this is like being happy dispassionately. And it's also the blueprint. So this is blueprint time out of this happiness. Instead of, you know, 
going off into, you know, instead of going into extreme, extremely happy energy, what they're saying to do is once this negotiation gets resolved, once that gets put through and you, you guys get through it and everything, and everything gets worked out. And honestly, the only other, the only thing you need to know about this seven of staves and that all that energy that we just came through is to protect your own boundaries, ask for what you deserve and no more, you know, be as gracious as you would want someone to be with you and like no more, make it completely equal in terms of emotional equality, as well as material equality and skill equality, just make it super equal and just don't be over defensive. That's all. That's all. But I see this being a really lovely collaboration because it's like, this is a financial person. This is someone who's good with numbers, who has the purse strings, who holds the pocketbook, writes the checks, and they see value in you. That's the important part here is that they already see monetary value in you and what you are bringing to the table. So you don't have to go over. You don't have to go so far, you know, convey your reasonable confidence and your talents and abilities and what they're worth and what you know, all of that, but just don't go over because you need to get through that because that's just, this is just one small step. You're now supposed to be making the blueprint for the rest of your life off of this. They told me. Blueprint right here, two of wands. This is blueprint. It's a blueprint. You're making the blueprint right here and you are looking at the world with it in your hand that's why you're so happy because it's like the world is without, it's also within. I knew it. The world. <gasps> Guys. I can't, I can't. Okay, we're stopping there. No, we're actually stopping at the moon. The moon's not part of this. Actually, no, we're, it's not part of this. Okay, thank you. I was, I was feeling the intuition of the moon energy. I was, I felt it go here, but we already have it here. Okay. There is the creativity, but the creativity we have with the sun because it's a Leo energy, more Leo energy. Again, that's over here with your six of staves and your chariot. Okay. It's very, something about this looks very good or you will be looking so good, you know, after this, after this really gets on its feet here. So now we have you know, because for me as a reader, the two of staves, the two of wands with the world, it's like I get the world sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes. So here we have, he has the world in his hand and he's looking out at the world. And then we have the two happiest cards in the deck together. They're together. Two sons. I mean, you, this is why you're supposed to be like a cat because this is going to make you super happy. And I feel like you are just going to want to rest on your laurels. You're just going to want to take a break. Honestly, you're going to want to take a breather because <sighs> of the long, hard road that it's been to get to here. Okay. You've had to suffer, suffer some breakdowns. Absolutely. You've had to suffer some really deep breakages, like soul break, heart break, mind break spirit, a lot of breaking up in order to do that healing, in order to kind of reveal who you really are to move forward. Okay. So it's just, you can use that to help you in this negotiation, to keep you aware of the shadow parts of yourself, or it will come back to bite you in the butt because you won't see that part of yourself in the negotiation room with you. You're just going to be, it's going to feel like normal, but it's not. Okay. That's all I'm going to say. So this sun energy, this is like when you come through it, when you, when everything gets kind of resolved and wrapped up, everything gets, you know, written down, signed, sealed, and delivered. You're so happy. You've completed a major win. You've completed some major, super duper big cycle here. It has to do with not allowing Whatever that shadow part of you was, if it was greed, if it was ego, and I'm getting greed here with the four of pentacles, I am getting greed. So it could be greed and ego, just greed, just ego. It could be anything else that I've listed, depression, anger, anxiety, severe anxiety, severe fears. Okay. But whatever it was, it's coming up to either help you or serve as another learning lesson opportunity. Okay. But 
this is obviously for the person who uses it to overcome and you know put that healing on its feet and you're the one who completes a major cycle here a major revolution this is like something that's taken a very long time for you to learn too with that saturn card it's like i mean the things that you learn from saturn you take with you the rest of your life that's why these lessons have to be so severe and so you know dramatic because we have to remember them for the next 30 years until Saturn comes back again to, te to teach us even more. So keep these lessons. That's what this is. It's like now you've completed this. This is done and over. Now we're doing the blueprint. Now you can rebirth yourself in this new lean, mean, you know, healed machine to move forward in your life and blueprint the rest of your life. Okay, so let's take a look at... Um, I actually don't need to, but we're going to anyway. The Two of Swords. Is it? It is. They're telling me it's the moon. That's what it was for. Thank you. That was interesting. So this is actually it. This is the moon. The moon to clarify the Two of Swords. This is not being able to see your way forward through the path by the moonlight. This is exactly over here referencing you know, all of this, that when the time comes to really talk about this, to really talk about being together, okay, this is a collaboration. This could be a collaboration for the household. This this money that's on the table and all this stuff, this could have to do with your household, getting a roommate, getting married, moving in together. It could have to do with this multinational corporation. Okay, a lot of different hands, a lot of different things go into making and keeping a home too. So take this as it resonates, of course. This brings us back to this energy of when you are talking about this, whatever this is, this is you overcoming a stalemate due to fears. Fears, you can't really see. You don't know if it's a, a bad guy or a good guy. You don't really, you're skittish. You know, you're sort of doubting yourself. But that's what this is here. It's overcoming this energy of stalemate. So here we have the potential for you to self-sabotage and let the fears put you in a lose-lose situation because that's what the Two of Swords is. It's having all the energy and no direction. Okay, it's a stalemate. It's 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 like, oh, it's kind of a waste. It sucks. It's not that great. So, you know, some, some out there are going to be coming up against the past with the healing opportunities that they couldn't face and no shame on that too. I mean, this is confronting a lot of pain a lot of inner wounding deep wounding and here we have it coming back on um, coming back up to serve as the veil that just confuses you it's a fog so if you're finding yourself super confused and fearful and anxious and lost above all else if you're lost know that that is leading you to a lose-lose outcome in this and that you've got to reorient yourself and go back to that inner work that hermit work that you were doing and that you have been doing and and redirect and just correct yourself because you do have that intuitive sense of what this could be and what this is so i'd hate to see it just go down the drain because that's what free will can do okay so let's take a look lastly at this ace of cups and then we'll get advice and then we will call it my dears ace of cups this is that beautiful ace of chalices the holy grail of relationships the holy grail of love really it's just unconditional love. It's real love without any sort of conditions or, you know, asks. It's, oh, look at that. Look at that. And we have the temperance. Complete balance, complete perfection. Really beautiful energy here. It's gorgeous. This is chemistry. This is chemistry as well between you two. So you two will both have a lot of really wonderful chemistry really beautiful emotional chemistry and we do have three other cards that came out with it this is the one that came out on top and there were three that fell on the desk and they are the page of cups the five of cups and the ace of pentacles wow 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 you guys this this double ace the that the ace of pentacles with the ace of cups tells you that this relationship is going to be financially profitable for both of you now and in the future this is the beginning of a very beautiful friendship, okay? Honestly, you guys, look at this. It's a perfect balance. It's a perfect balance between the emotions and the realistic. 
It's a perfect balance between love and commerce. It's a perfect balance and chemistry between, you know, never ending overwhelming emotions and wealth that multiplies itself very exclusively. Remember, this is my exclusive wealth card with this hand coming down in the middle of this beautiful VIP looking garden. Okay, so it's just, it's pretty great. It is pretty awesome. And then over here, we have the Five of Cups and the Page of Cups. So this is speaking to regret for sure and disappointment. This is serving, I don't know if this is you or the other energy, it could be the other energy. And if neither of these energies are yours, this is just happening around you, then you get to really, you know, decide who this is and who's channeling these energies more likely. This is correcting a regret that someone has. Okay, something about partnering up with you is actually fixing something for them. It's it's healing them in some way, shape, or form. With the Page of Cups, it's like they get to begin anew. It's almost like living vicariously through you. This person who has the money, who has the financial backing, and you have this heart, this passion, this soul, it's like they have a team of people or they're part of a team of people. Like I said, this could be a multinational corporation. There's just something that's really coming alive for them inside of them where they get to sort it's almost like they're giddy it's like they're giddy about this it's like they're they're so they're so happy to do this by the way they're just so happy to be part of this to to do this with you to to be in perfect balance and perfect harmony and perfect chemistry that they're just like they're just giddy and happy and it, and it really heal i'm telling you it heals something about them or something inside of them some regret that they have that they didn't do this before or they did they waited too long to do this it could be a new direction for them emotionally. What you bring to the table, all of this emotion and passion and happiness and, and creativity and, you know, just strong emotions. It's, it's just really invigorating to this person. It's healing them. And it's like you guys heal each other because here we have this balance between pentacle and the cup, the emotions and the material. And then in the outcome over here, we have this perfect balance between the emotions and the material and this balance is because it's like a new emotional start for one or both of you it's pretty perfect it is pretty perfect so we're moving on to the guidance and the wisdom although i feel like we really already covered it with this hermit and the tower energy over here but let's see what else there is what advice do we have for whoever this is what do Look at the bigger picture, full moon and Sagittarius energy. So this is really about the self-sabotage that I channeled before. This is really about looking at the bigger picture. If you have to take a pay cut, a less, you know, less pay or less, you know, as long as you're getting your needs met, just keep a lookout for that. If you are getting your needs met, okay, you know that this is going to lead to a much greater position for you. You know that this is going to lead you to so much more in the future. Okay, so just look at the bigger picture and don't be so nearsighted. Don't look just at what you're getting right now because that could shoot you in the foot and sabotage a really great opportunity for you. Okay, so my dears, this was a great reading. Thank you so much for sharing your energies with me. It's a, This was really lovely and interesting to channel. Don't forget, be like a cat. No, be a cat is what they said. Be a cat. Not like a cat, be a cat. Okay, my dears. I love you guys forever. Take good care. I'm changing the weeklies. I'm thinking to do three signs a week and doing four weeks at a time. Okay. Doing four weeks in one. I'll do one on YouTube and then the extended will be maybe three more weeks. I'm working it out. I'm figuring it out. I feel bad for being behind in February. You guys know I don't like to be behind. So we'll see what I come up with and what um, comes to me through channeling Sometimes I look for channeled answers for the channel so I can do what I'm supposed to do as the messenger here. So everybody, I just wanted to jump in really quick and say the new format for doing four weeks for the signs works so well. I just came out of Aquarius and it just it's really, really great energetically. And um, for instance, so something I picked up in the psychic tuning, it didn't come out until week four for Aquarius is extended. So the YouTube version will be 30 minutes of an extended first week and then the extended will have weeks two, three, and four. So it's going to be like a long, it's going to be like a whole thing. But the thing is, is that I can see where the next four weeks is taking you and kind of the purpose of it 
And so we have a great overall and it's just working really, really, really well, especially seeing how the end of one week leads into the next and it, it brings in this bigger message. So I'm really happy with it. You guys can let me know how you guys like it. I think I will do a few every week so that there's always something new coming out and you can always watch for your rising, your moon, your sun. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I feel like there was one other thing, but if I remember, I'll just hop back. Ooh, I'll just hop back on. Okay. That was it. So we'll see what comes up. But take care, guys. If you'd like to book a personal reading, you know the website, theartigan.com slash shop. And then we'll get you, we'll get you in. We'll get you taken care of. So take care, my dears. Don't be so hard on yourself. Take it easy, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. And with the justice here, there's so much equality, equanimity is when I see money coming in for you. Let me just put it that way. They're giving me spiritual breakthrough. They're giving me like a huge breakthrough here. Like an implosion, like overcoming your own internal battles. And you did that in week... It's like incredible. These are new friends that you're making. So there's something there with you that you are just... You're just shining so bright. You're such a bright little star. So this is all of the communication coming your way, okay? So that you both get your needs met, a vast ocean of opportunity and letting your guard down, not being so defensive. You know that this is your tactic. You're not gonna be domineering like a huge final, no going back decision. You and this person are keeping this super quiet, both of you.